What's up YouTube, Tenton here, and uh, today we're doing a little a shorter video, a little less edited video than what we normally do, but wanted to get something out for the channel. And we never did get around to doing 9B, even though we fully scripted it, recorded it, and I had the transitions ready, but uh, life's gonna keep me busy, so it'll come out eventually, hopefully. But uh, for now, it's uh, a bit delayed. So we're just gonna do a standard tier list for uh, last season, and just overall talk about our opinions on it, and you know, just get it all out there. And of course you got the best two members to accommodate with this episode. Yeah, we got the the Mario Cola, and then we have the Simon, the Insanity, the Gang of Gar, the Obito Vader Enjoyer of all time. Yes, Simon, speak some words. Oh, uh, I have been away from this channel for two episodes. No, technically three, but I was there for parts of March and Silver Surfer, but whatever. Listen, you were here. You're cool, Simon. We'll get ne next episode's your episode, so we're good. So this video just kind of kind of be us ranking with this here tier list, you know? Kind of just a chill ranking, us discussing our opinions on the last season. Hopefully getting like a finite, like, you know, list out there nearly a year after it removed so I have more time to think about the episodes. I'd be surprised if some of our new takes. You might not be surprised if some of our new takes. I guess we're gonna see. How we feeling about Harley Jinx? See? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out the gate and say honest B or C. I okay. I'm gonna also say B. I'm I was gonna, gonna argue B. A, honestly. I think you can for like a season opener, I think it was fairly strong. You know? I think okay, okay. I think I think we should put it in top of B if that's the case. Yeah, I'm putting it top of B. Like like opener of the season. It's a very great opener. Um, introduction for League of Legends was great, and salt of DC fans, which is not a lot, but whatever. Um, I mean, hey, DC character finally lost to a non-Marvel. It's history. But in my opinion, there's like a lot of other episodes that are just better, in my opinion. I get that. I get that. Just that, you know, a little bit of Medusa bias in me wants to say, can we maybe argue for low A as for now? But if you guys want B, I'll relent. Damn. We, can, we can always edit it later in the video, I guess. Um, yeah, top of B, that's what we're saying. Yeah, high B. All right. So, well, like, peak B. It's so like, two so against one. That, fair trades. Fair trades. All right. Scarlet Witch Zatanna. I think... Fuck. Mm. See, a funny Mega Mind reference. See, so see, ooh, you're cool. All right. Okay, this was one of my most wanted episodes, especially in terms of Marvel versus DC. I was very excited when it was announced, but for what it did, and the words of Nemesis, which I don't like putting in a lot. He's a great content creator, but it just has way too much um animation potential that that battle couldn't really do much couldn't really do with do you know yeah i get that i get that that's definitely a complaint we would go on to have in even more recent episodes but like i personally like what they did with it i agree zatanna is definitely over characterized Oh, not Zatanna, uh, uh, Scarlet Witch is definitely overcharacterized and gets a little bit too pissy, a bit too fast. But, like, Zatanna definitely steals the show. She's super funny. She's super... She, she got the Megamind reference. Mario is a funny man, you can admit, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's all I get. Damn, no help from you. You get to return in this Damn, episode to the channel mean? and that's I'm, all you give it? I'm, I'm, oh my I god, I'm said this is your channel, I'm letting you explain. You can't tag me in randomly. This is not, this is not like fighters, you tag me into a fight. I, I wasn't tag ready. you into a level three. I, I don't... I, I, I'm tagging... <laughs> oh, 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 what did with that? Oh my... Oh, they're kind of cool though, wait a minute. Oh shit! Oh god! They're kind of cool! Exactly. Alright. If you both, I, I was gonna say low B, but if you guys want C, I'll relent. You can, you can, I'd never give mine. I, I mean, like, to be honest, I'd never. is, all right. Panda. Okay, well, what do you want, Mara? What you feel? Probably, probably, I agree. Low B as well. All right, all right. I can vibe right. with that. All right. I can vibe with that. Low B, low B. All right. Okay. So all we've right. so we've only put stuff in B so far. Great. <laughs> no, I like this B. This, this B is a good number. You know, you know. 
If you all are still in school, if you don't know the answer, Did pick you just B. Say B is a good number. Tonathan Tonathan Tundra Jonathan Tonathan as I call it. What we feeling? You forgot the name earlier when we were doing I'm personal no, rankings no, in DMs. No. Alright, Simon, how well, how high are you ranking this and how far down do I have to drag it? A. A? Yes. I'm it's a low A. a. I'm, I'm content with that. Mario, how do you feel? C. Oh! C. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. You don't know the characters, but like it is the first like Demon Slayer gets on the show, you know, new series does really well. I get there's some animation errors, like some of the water not moving. You know, some of Tundra sprites could look better, but the ending's super emotional. I really like it, but I, I can understand if it's not your your cup of tea. Just don't put it in top of A if you, if you guys are gonna rank it that high. I said low A. That's what I said. Okay, well, if Mario's saying low A, I'm saying A in general, and... I'm not saying low A. I, 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 I mean, I mean, I meant Simon. I meant Simon. I missed Where did that put it? Okay, well, if we have an A, a low A, and a C, I think that would put it in B. So middle B? I think that would be... Um, I would say that would be somewhere in B. Would you rank this episode... Do you want, for the sake of not everything being in B, do you want to put this in A? <laughs> You know what? I'm, swap I'm swapping Harley Chase and Jonathan Tantra. <laughs> okay. Okay. So do we? So what is that one we do? We want to just put this in in like top of maybe like somewhere in B. Would you rank Zatanna above this, Mario? What? Okay. Zatanna Witt. Huh? Uh, Zatanna uh, Scarlet Witt. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like it's good, but like, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I do like some of the shots and Tantra thing, but don't worry, Tantra. Not everything is gonna be ranked in B. Just see the one we have to rank after this. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, how about this? How about, for the sake of not everything being in B, we move Harley Jinx up to low A, and we put Tonatho, Tonathan John, Tonathan the JoJo Fricker and the new modern anime Fricker in, in B above Scarlet Witch Zatanna. Are we fun with that? Now it's time for peak episode. Peak okay, fiction, that's okay, that's how do we feel? S plus. Oh, coming out strong. Fire. Laura. Oh. No, you go next time, then. S. I love it. I, I can see the flaws now. Like, the the hype of me getting one of my top 15 episodes has, has passed, and I can see the flaws a bit more now, but it's still S. I still love it. Um, I'd put this... I'd probably put this in F as well. In like, S as well? Okay, Simon, how about we put yeah. it at the very top of S? Because that is two voices saying it's not quite peak fiction. I'll, I'll be content with that. Yeah, because, I mean, Vegeta's, Vegeta's certainly got the run back of all time. Gotta give the man that. It's still, it's still getting a really good ranking. <laughs> I mean, it's still S, like, dear God. Top of S at that. Yeah, no, it's a very good episode. The best of us Dragon Ball nerds. Like, it's great. I love seeing Vegeta come back all his new forms and stuff since his last episode, Fighting Shadow. Thor desperately needed to run back after Wonder Woman. And, like, yeah. the song is amazing. It's super, it's super fun. It does a lot. Like, the kill's great. Great episode overall. And Prince Vegeta is just amazing as well. You are pretty goated, Vegeta. That I am. All right, redemption time. What are we doing with Omnilander? Oh, a box, box made of cardboard or MK1, MK1 guest characters. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> MK1 guest characters. Let's go. <laughs> If they reference the death battles in their dialogue at all, I'll die. If I hear, I will feed you and hurt. I will, I will, I will be happy. Have we met before? But yeah, anyway, I don't think so. After rewatching it a couple more times. Yeah. With about a year, you know, to call, to, you know, get to appreciate it a bit more, because we definitely did it dirty last time. How we feel about it? We probably gonna say B? <laughs> We haven't warmed that much on it. <laughs> okay, how do you feel, Mara? Probably top of B. Like, yeah, I'm um, feeling. Probably... Okay, fair. Oh, you have more to say? Go ahead. I mean, like, I'm, I mean, I'm like, definitely, definitely pass a Muscar with Satana. You could argue Jonathan, um, anime other guy. Anime. Other guy. <laughs> I was gonna say 
low A below Harley Jinx, but I'm fine with top of B for it. Alright. It certainly deserves more praise than I what can. we gave it last year. Okay, so, so above Jonathan Tondro. We have, ooh, we have Magneto Tetsuo. Any opinions? I'm, I'm kind of the host of this, so I'll save mine for last, but any opinions? Go ahead. I'm thinking, all right, probably top C. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's low. <laughs> that's low. Oh, um, mm. I don't, I mean, like, okay, I actually, wait. maybe in B as well. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I wasn't Above. gonna. I wasn't gonna say S. No. What? Oh my god. I wasn't. I wasn't gonna say S. So what do you have to say? A. Do you want to just be an A above yeah. Harley Jinx? I'm, yeah, I think it is above Harley Jinx. Okay, yeah. we can do that. So mythology, huh? Mythology? I like mythology. Aislinn loves mythology. Okay, so a year later, how do we feel about our number two from the first half last time? No, I'll put this, I'll put an S. All right. Yeah. I'm putting oh. it below, or G. Yeah. That's literally my opinion as well. All righty, well, we all have the same opinion. Good job, gang. Good job, gang. You know, that's our, our second best awesome. last time. You know, went pretty well. Went pretty well. Um... And that was a bit anticlimactic. Okay. The mid scene. What are we doing with Fred? Uh, Mario, uh, I know you want to fight for this boy. Listen for this, for these boys. This episode of all episodes. The solo... I see no Raven here. Raven's not here, so Raven can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so, so essentially, after a year of sitting on it, I have decided S plus. Oh, oh. <laughs> damn! Oh, that hot? Mario loves this one. This episode made a comeback for me. Fair? Uh, that's fair. Even though it, it broke your streak. All right. All righty. Where do you two rank it? Simon. A. 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 Yes. Okay, I was feeling A as well, probably below Harley Jinx. I put it above Jinx or Harley. Yeah. Okay, but that where do we where do we put this then? We say want to say the top of A, bottom of S. Top of A. Top of S. I would not okay. rank this above Thordia. That's what I said. I said A. What did I you say? Said top of A. Okay. Go, are, we, are you fine with that, Mario? We'll still be a great ranking. Sure. Me, me and Simon like it a lot. At least no ravens are going to drag me down. There are no ravens here to hurt your episode, that's true. Alrighty, bonus time, am I right? Yeah, I will say. Oh. I just want to talk about this episode a little more before we move on. I love I love all the different interactions of their weapons and stuff. Like, ignoring all the goofiness and stupidity the Predator does. Like, just seeing basically all the Star Wars stuff made this episode for me, you know? Yeah. It's Star Wars. so super. well done. Bubba Fett with his lightsaber is so cool. Or how do you feel about Excalibur riding? Bottom of C or top of D? I can agree. Ooh. I, other than Vin, who is not in this video, I am a big Warframe fan. So when Excalibur riding got got announced, I was very excited that um it, Warframe was getting on the show. It's just, I don't know. It's just the way that was done. I get that. Where do you put it, Tenton? I was gonna put it. In, I was gonna put it above Scarlet Witch's Atana and B. Let's say it's a high C, to be honest. How about we just put it in C, because that would be the middle ground of all three of our opinions. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. It's still rated last so far out of the first half. I like it. Hmm. You know, when you remove the, the a lot of the Preda Fat haters, and you give it a year to push an episode up, wow, our rankings did fluctuate a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except for Zatanna, um, Scarlet Witch. Uh, pretty sure it's in the exact. Actually, no. No, it's, it's changed a little, but it's basically where it was last year. And our number one and two have not moved. <laughs> Thor, Thor Gita, G Thor Gita and uh, Wukong. Yes. And Magneto Tetsuo hasn't moved either. It's still fourth. Yeah. 
Harley Jinx took mm -hmm. a beating because the, the one who loves it isn't here to save it. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. Vanessa. <laughs> but yeah, ultimately, yeah, it's nice to look back at these episodes a year later, get some more, you know, context on them and everything, give it time. But now, new territory. They have no way to know what we think about this. No way to know where the two best episodes are. All right, Bondwick. Um, bottom B. Ooh, I was. Gonna I put totally it, don't know. I was, say where you're gonna. You know, I wasn't gonna put it. I wasn't gonna put it in S. I genuinely don't know where to put it. To be honest. My dad is the biggest Bond uh, Bond fan in the world, and I've seen like a bunch of these. Well, you're not your dad, him. are you? You know, but I like the character. <laughs> it's a really like fun him? episode. I loved all their interactions. I loved learning about this. I love the little rivalry me and Raven had going into it. It's an S tier episode for me. I love this one. Oh yeah, that prediction was so fun for me and you, Simon. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was most definitely fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't fun. do those anymore. <laughs> I was glad you stopped doing that. We don't do those anymore. Cause you're lazy. No, I, we stopped doing them because I'd rather just learn about the characters in the episode. And if it's in a character I care enough about getting on the show, I'll make a solo video on it. Okay. I will do that if a webcomic character gets on it. Never gonna happen, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, Simon, um, we know we have a, a B and an S. What you feeling? I'm probably gonna agree with um, Mario. Yeah. <laughs> okay, top of A tier above, pre uh, above Predifet. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> That is not at all no. what this is. Can I put <laughs> it above the one Magneto Tatsuo? It's no. It's off of my attachment with both Bond and Wick. I, I, I've watched some of their movies, mainly Wick's. I like Wick's character. I like Bond's character. It's just I don't really have much of an attachment besides my grandmother. If she was alive, she probably would have loved the episode, but... I can't really have much of an attachment to, that, to this episode. So. Can I put it above Harley Jinx? No, no if anything, it's bottom of A. Oh, come on. Yeah. I put it in S. Come on. Can I just have above yeah, Harley Jinx? Yeah, we put Jinx? it in C. Okay, well, you know, we have to beat an A in the middle ground, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you don't understand what my art. Fuck? You don't understand yeah. my art. <laughs> Fine, I'll put it below Harley Jinx, but I'm not putting it any lower. Shut up. What's I know, I'm doing a bit. Let me have my bit. You should fuck up. Like this video engaging. You should fuck up. Let me. Just because democracy is wrong. <laughs> oh, man, my fun. It's fine. I still love the episode. It's S tier to me. No, now for not S tier, how do you feel about uh, Black Adam Apocalypse? F. Mm. <laughs> Actually, no, not an F. I'm gonna put a D. Yeah, I, I can go with D as well. Well, I'm just gonna skip. Okay, I'll say C, but I'll put it in D. Fair. No, go ahead. Speak your truth, Simon. What you got to say? Yeah, speak. Okay. Preach. My okay. I don't know, but my issue with Black Adam Apocalypse, it's just I was excited for the episode. Plenty fifth we matchup. A matchup I was actually excited for too. Yeah, preach. I don't know. It just kind of let me down as an episode. Kind of didn't do what I wish they did with, with the episode. Still good, but kind of gets more and more boring over time. The surprise they didn't use a lot of abilities, mostly a lot of like a lot of lightnings, regeneration here and there, but like, you know, a little bit of shape shifting, but that was kind of it. I will say it has its moments. I do love that ending, and that ending alone would be enough to push it to C for me, but I understand you guys not caring for it, so it can stay in D. All right, all right, Peak Fiction. Silver, huh? All right, Peak Fiction, uh, S Plus, uh, moving on. Yeah. Do we all actually agree on that? All right, sure, mm -hmm. S Plus, go ahead, dog. You can have the, you can have this one. I agree. Oh. Yeah, we, uh, we all solidly agree. Yeah. It's the best episode. Okay, cool. We all have great opinions. Uh, wonderful. We all have wonderful opinions. Great. Okay, Aquabog F tier. All right, moving on. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I would never do that to you. Whoa. I would never do that to you. I'm not Raven. I'm not Raven. No you're, yeah. no, 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 you're not Ace and Mark. All right, no, it was Ace and Mark that did that to you. Right. They put it in. They put it eighth. 
bastards. Love you both, but exactly. bastards. S plus, S plus, sir, for Aquabob. Yeah, we'll talk, I guess we'll talk about them both at the same time. Uh, is it above Trunk Silver or below Trunk Silver? Do we care? Hello. For me, for me, it's above Trunk Silver, but as long as it gets an S plus, I'm happy. Because you want to, because you want to switch them. <laughs> I'd be asking for more SpongeBob. I'm like, wait a waiter. <laughs> wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I will talk about them both now. Time. Trunk Silver yeah. does literally everything right to take a boring matchup and make it one of the most interesting and debatable matches for the entire season. Trunk Silver just has a, like certain like just like that. I, mean, I made three videos on it, so you know, obviously, you know, I love it. There's so much about it. It's so fun to see their power sets like bounce off each other, even though it's like the second like Sonic versus Dragon Ball fight we've gotten. But like, it's been so long. Like, they did so much more with it. It's fun seeing God Trunks, like almost all the interactions, all the little extra sprite details. Every joke hit. The ending is just so good. The analysis is so good just to hear about Hero as an Archie again. The, the reaction got ruined. Reaction to get ruined yeah. due to computer error, but we still got the end bit. We got the most important part. We got the kill. It was overall just. A, and hey, it started our reactions with Dark Shark and his place. So, like, you know, it gave some history yeah. to us and our channels. You know what? It, it does everything right. It's my favorite episode for Q5. The only, down, the only downside I'd say for Trunk Silver is that I got spoiled for the next time. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I'm still angry. Speaking of that next time, um,. Aquabob is peak is peak joke episode. It does everything right. If you're a SpongeBob fan, yes. it's an automatic yes. ST. Yes, please. Yeah. Bring Mario, it around. Oh. Mario, say whatever you want. It's your episode. Alrighty, alrighty. So I would so, so this so this episode gets everything SpongeBob correct. Just the it, just the fact that SpongeBob's always wanting to goof around, but like for instance, near the end of the episode, he kind of he kind of just he kind of just he kind of just like. Feels bad for Aquaman, so, so you know, you know, so, so it gives him like a worthy, a worthy finale. And just the ending hits me every single time of SpongeBob having the heart because Sponge because SpongeBob is generally a good-hearted character of just building that memorial for Aquaman. You know, it perfectly it perfectly encapsulates 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 SpongeBob as a character. It does a lot right. It puts a lot of respect and and like love to the legacy of his series. And I mean, it's kind of fun to make fun of this version of Aquaman. And we, but even as the punching bag of the episode, we, he still gets his moments, you know, and I like that. Also, it's fun to see Wizard doing versus debating lingo of downplaying SpongeBob hard and trying to hype up Aquaman. I know, yeah. I know that's the funniest thing. You know, it's the funny thing. Mark did the same thing as well. SpongeBob ended up having the fastest speed feed on the show. <laughs> that um, is nice. Speed feed is funny. Still to this day, it has not been topped to the fastest calculable speed feed. <laughs> All right, Simon, fight your battle, my friend. All right, we're we putting in S plus behind behind Silver Trunks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, Aquabob's an S plus behind Silver Trunks. That's what we're doing. All right, Jason, Michael, how how are you gonna get it out of D to F tier? How are you gonna do that, Simon? Convince me. Okay, so I'm in my opinion, I'm putting this above Black Adam Apocalypse and below Excalibur Riding in C tier. <laughs> Now, you might think I'm crazy. I mean, it, I am. That's my entire YouTube thing. Is that? But you that's are, in, point, you are but, insane. I know that much. But, insane on the membrane. But I, in my opinion, it just does what I like for this matchup in the 3D space. Well, I wish it was live action. That's one of my critiques. But it it just does um, well for what it did in 3D. It goes for that horror aesthetic. Great. I get that. It does. Does for the horror aesthetic. While it does go on Joe victim for a bit, I did enjoy enjoy that because it did feel like oh classic horror movies. It did it did work in my in my opinion. And the track itself, even though it should have been called Thirteen Halloween, it's still a great great track as well. Analysis for both Jason and Michael is what is what I wanted for, from this matchup in particular. So I'm not putting it in F. So that's really it. Mario. Are we content to give this um, bottom of C? You know what? I'll let you have this one. I'll let him have this one as well. I'll let him have bottom of C. I'm fine with that. Another one of my episodes. Now back to a good episode. Oh, no, another one of my episodes. Hmm, I wonder if this episode. Okay, we're just gonna put. I'll put it in S plus. Do we want to just do that? Yes. Maybe. I mean that episode's putting, pretty good okay. in my opinion because I was in it. Okay. Do we want to put it? Where do we want to put it? 
between the three. Hold on. I think it's way past cool, but honestly, I think it should go at the bottom. Shut up, Sonic. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna have Jerry speak on, on his, his work because he was in that episode. Fair oh enough. yeah, get Jerry on here. I love that guy. Fair enough. Speak your piece. We know it's going in S plus. We'll decide if it when if it's first, second, or third in a moment. Gary has returned. What's Jerry up, Jerry? It should be at top. Jerry likes um. Hold on. Iron Man versus Ice Man. Yes, Jerry. Yeah, Jerry got that right. But Good. Jerry enjoys this episode because it's second. It's Jerry's second episode. It's Jerry's favorite episode of season. It does Jerry's favorite book series, Justice, and Jerry's favorite villain in fiction, Justice, as well. Jerry has. Uh, this is Jerry's TED talk. Now, Mario, do you would you rate? Wh where would you rake it? <laughs> rake it, yes, rake I'll it. Where, you, where would you rake man, the leaves? But I think this goes to the bottom of S plus. Okay, I am of a similar opinion. Uh, I would rate the other two higher, but I still love it. Okay, yeah. in that regard, do you want to just put it second, like above Aquabob, or how no. we feel? Because the two of us put it third, and Simon put it first. So what would th what would that dictate? Aquabob you guys can put it. You guys can put it third. I'm not saying you put it on this thing. <laughs> Fair enough. Mine's the one actually going it's on YouTube, still so, plus, so it's it'll, still good. It'll go third, it's, but listen, all three fair. of them are the three best episodes of the season, like bar none. Oh, I know these two I breakers are going to get up there, so. Um, <laughs> the Deku Asta, Simon, activate your hate for this episode. Go ahead. Hey, lo loaded. Hey, Two. all three of us were in that one. <laughs> yeah, our episode, us. boys. No, anyway, Simon, why do you hate it? Honestly, worse than the season. Ooh, the taste. I will stand on that. <laughs> My issues come with primarily the animation, which the analysis for both worked it worked it worked as well. I liked it. Wish it went into more manga stuff, especially with Black Clover, but it's fine. I just didn't like Deku's Sprite. I didn't like I didn't like some of the choices of banter between between the two. And the main thing, I didn't like Asta's entire characterization during the fight. I get that. Now, I will say, the fight still had some very fun moments. As a My Hero fan, like, it's hyped to see Deku. It was fun to see. Okay, the track goes hard. It carries this episode hard for me. I loved seeing, like, the All Might silhouette, like, with, like, the classic My Hero, like, the light going through all the different previous owners into Deku. It has a lot of fun moments of Deku strategizing and him kind of, like, dodging around Asta. I'm definitely, again, more here for Deku than I am for Asta. And I agree the kill was a bit much. You didn't have to brutalize Deku there. He'd already died. But overall, I'd still say I would put it, like, I'd put it in, like, B below Tonathan John. Like, Tonathan. I'm just going to call it Tonathan now. Tonjojo. Tonjojo. You can just say that. Tonjojo. I like Tonathan better. I think it'll make people angry, so I'm going to go with that. All right, fine. Tonathan. This is Tonathan. I like this episode. But anyway, uh, I think I would I would put it in B, like below Jonathan Tondro. That'd be my opinion. And what did, what what tier did you say, Simon? I don't know if you specified. Um, below Black Adam like Apocalypse, worst of the season. D. Okay, Mario. Um, I guess you will be the uh, icebreaker here. What you feeling? Maybe maybe like um maybe I'm thinking I'm thinking either. Either middle of C or bottom of B. Okay, so we have about a similar opinional range. How about we put it in C tier? Do how about we put Excalibur mm. riding above it and we put it above um, Jason Michael? Are we content with that? I respectfully disagree. I mean, two positive yeah, I mean, opinions versus yeah, one negative <laughs> opinion, Simon. So it should be I, 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 Simon. We gave we we were merciful on you. We we're merciful on uh, Jason Michael. Fine. Fine. They, both, they get to show next to each other in C tier. Fine. <laughs> everybody gets one. Every, everybody gets one. You use your one. <laughs> everybody Fine. gets one. Go! So anyway, um, if, I had a, if I had a nickel for every time I got interrupted, if I had a nickel for every time, I'd have uh, sixteen episodes. Hmm. What does the seventeenth one do? Well, let's see. Okay. All right. Gogeta, Vegito. Nali. Fusion time. Um, I couldn't even lose in this episode. That's pretty cool in my opinion. Yeah, Vegeta, you appeared three times this season. Okay, well, wow, it's going to be so long before you get another episode, buddy. Shut up! I'm not a Gogeta Omnimon fan. I'm not hurt. Okay. Uh, Simon, do you want to state your opinion on this one first? Probably a high C. Okay. Or a low B. Okay. I was going to say 
Top of B. It seems like I'm the most positive out of us. I was gonna put this above Bondwick. Oh, hey. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. How about we just, just put? A, should we just put a top of B and just be content with that? Fine. Because Mario had it in like middle of A. You had it in like around the bottom of B, and I had and I had it at the top of B. So it literally is the perfect like equalizer of our opinions. And yeah, and uh, yeah, I mean it's a cool episode. It definitely suffers from the fact of you could just play a Dragon Ball fighting game and you could get this matchup, and you probably could recreate no, everything I, in the episode. No, I, that I don't I don't like that argument. That's a dumb argument. I'm sorry for people who argue that, but it's like saying, okay, let's let's another example. Uh, Warrior versus King DDD. You can make the same arguments for that, but you can't really do do as do as much as Death Battle did in that animation. Yeah, I'm not saying I agree with that argument. Obviously, I obviously don't. But I will say, yeah, for this episode, I can see it's a stronger argument because they don't really do much outside of their what you would have expected them to do. But that all being said, it was certainly a fun episode. I personally enjoyed it. I mean, we we were joking about getting Gogeta, uh, Goku versus Goku. Like as like this was announced, so that was funny. I do, I do have one negative thing to say about this. Right? Spike the most annoying joke in our friend group. Yeah. <laughs> the but can he beat Goku thing is so annoying, and I'm 99 percent sure it's sparked from this episode. It's yeah, it did. The... And also, yeah. that and also Goku Goku. And fun fact, this has been the server icon for him. <laughs> exactly. Uh, it's. It's certainly, it was, it's probably one of the weaker finales they've ever made. And it's still fun. I was a Dragon Ball fan. I enjoyed it. Would I have traded it for Gogeta Omnimon effortlessly and instantly? Absolutely. But for what it was, I enjoyed it. And hey, oh, so. Super Saiyan 4 got to come back for the first time in uh, a decade, so that was cool. Anyway, well, YouTube, that's, uh, that would be our opinions. This will be our list. Do you agree? Do you like what we have to say? Do you think we're all stupid and wrong? Hey, um, hang Ten Ten, if anything. Don't hang me. Hang Ten Ten. Nah, Target Mario. He's a smaller YouTuber. He'll be easier to corrupt to your side. Why? <laughs> don't do that. That's that's mean. Don't 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 be mean to people. If you're mean to people, we don't like you here. Anyway, uh, bye YouTube. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. What's your ranking? What episodes did you like? Do you agree with our opinions? Are we stupid? Probably. But hey, tell us we're stupid in the comics. In the comics, yes. Tell us our super stupid in the comics. We're making Mario Cola comics. Anyway, talk to you later. Bye.